Radio Raheem with Jay Leon Love. We're backstage after a crazy, crazy press conference, but I guess that's nothing new for Jake Paul. What is new, though, is the team around him, yeah. except for this man. You obviously have been in the camp and on the team from the beginning, and here you are after the shakeup. Yeah. Just so talk to me about the changes that were made and why we're seeing new faces. Yeah, um, yeah, man, sometimes it's out with the old and with the new. And, uh, you know, with Jake... It was taking them back to the old school boxing. You can never forget the basics, mm. the basics of boxing, the things that will get you out of trouble, things that you got to rely on to get you in and out. You know what I mean? Defensively, awesome, offensively, steps that you can't miss. So uh, yeah, man, we, we we took it back. We took it back to the original. We got our guys from Crunk. You know, we reached out. That's where I'm from originally, Detroit. So we reached out, and we I knew that there was so many masterminds that we can bring in to really develop Jake, uh, you know, eliminate a lot of mistakes, leaning over punches, being off balance, things that should have been corrected a long time ago. But go ahead. Bringing in the crunk gym, obviously that is iconic in the sport of boxing. Mm -hmm. That is an expression of another level of seriousness about pursuing the sport. So mm -hmm. obviously after a loss, you assess what's going wrong and yeah. what you can fix. So. What in particular do you think that Crunk brings that Jake was missing? Yeah, technique, yeah. IQ. You know what I mean? It's a difference. Uh, you saw it. You saw it this past weekend uh, where you have two top top fighters, top tier fighters, and one has more IQ than the other, uh, Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence. Um, you've seen uh, a former display balance, on point, counter shots, whatever you – it was a, it was a, it was like painting a picture. You know what I mean? So – um, it was an art. You got to see that this past weekend. And so those are the things that we implemented and put and started channeling to Jake's game, you know, finding his own identity. Now, obviously, he's fighting an MMA fighter this yeah. time. You know, when a guy loses, stands for reason for him, come sure. back, get his, his bearings. Sure. But as he learned, yeah. it's nothing like fighting a traditional boxer sure. who's raising the sport. So how long do you think it will take for him to be ready to face either Tommy Fury again or another fighter who is a traditional boxer? Are we on pace? We on pace. It won't be long at all. We can damn near can be knocking on the door right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, man, we just going to keep this kid in the gym, keep his IQ, keep harvesting boxing, letting him watch more. Being in the gym with other fighters, it's another thing. You got to be able to pick up things, tricks, things that you see from other fighters. That's why... I learned everything from watching other fighters. When I went to the Nationals and the Amateurs, I was able to pick up things from Rashid Warrens and Gary Russells and the quick and the speed and the comp You know what I mean? I was able to add that to my game. And that's what makes a fighter. Lastly, the other thing that makes a fighter, and maybe most fighters would tell me, it's 80% mental. Mm -hmm. So more than the physical, more than the technique, more than the camp and even who's in the corner, it has yeah. to be what's going on between yeah. your ears. Yeah. So how do you get Jake prepared to have that confidence, to be able to rely on the new technique, to be able to climb those ropes again with the courage that it takes to be a winning boxer? Discipline. Discipline is everything. We stay disciplined in everything that you've been working on. From the mirror to the ring, we got Theo Chambers, who is Jake's head coach. Uh, is a master of correcting mistakes, is a master of bringing the technique and IQ to a higher level. And so that's what we brought in, and that's what you will see coming this Saturday. Discipline is this man's middle name. The J. Leon, that little, that little uh, you know... <laughs> <laughs> that little symbol between the J and the Leon, that's discipline. That's what makes this man a, a fighter and, and the trainer and the coach and in the corner and able to keep in this boxing game and stay relevant because you've been disciplined your whole career. It's a pleasure to talk to you as always. Always, always when I need the straight, serious conversation about boxing, I come to this man behind and in front of the camera. Radio Raheem with J. Leon. Love.